how many choices have been presented before us? Between Allah and our choices. Between Allah and our ego. Between Allah and our whims and caprices. Who do we choose? What do we choose? What do we incline towards? Here was a man that breathed like we breathe, that we're breathing. That ate the way we are eating today. That read the Quran that we are reading today. That prayed the way we are praying today. That called the name of the Prophet as we are calling the name of the Prophet today. He was given an option to choose Allah and his father. He was given an option to choose Iman and Shirk. He chose Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If truly we love Allah and we love the Prophet the choices that have been presented before us every now and then, what are our choices? Ask yourself these questions. You be the church. You be the church. Judge yourself at each time. Each and every one of us is having a card in front of him to play with. At each moment in your life, there is a card in front of you to play with. It's either you choose that which pleases Allah, or you choose that which pleases Satan and satisfies your ego, your whims, your caprices, and your lustful desires. But remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ ذَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا What did Allah say? فَعَلْأَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ ذَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا Inherently, inherently, each and every one of us has angelic and angelic qualities and we equally have certain devilish qualities. Malabas is the one hour roll over. All right. Allah said inherently each and every one of us has angelic qualities and we equally have satanic inclinations. فَأَلْعَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا Whichever one you choose to nourish and nurture, that will prosper. If you choose to obey Allah, you already have the quality in you. If you choose to nurture that quality, that will prosper and you will become a pious man. And you will transcend beyond the quality of the angels. But if you choose to nurture and nourish the devilish inclinations within yourself, the nature of the human soul is perpetual provocation to be sinful. That is the nature of the human soul. Perpetually, it is provoking you to sin against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One Urdu poet said, I don't understand Urdu, but my scholar does and when he quoted it, he said the meaning of which is, he said the devil and my soul have connived to destroy me. The devil and the soul has connived, they have connived to destroy me. Ya Allah, if you don't come to my rescue, how will I fare? It is always a battle, Abu Hazim, Salma bin Dinar. Abu Hazim, Salma bin Dinar. Rahimahullah, a tabi. O tabi, o tabi. It's one of the salaf. Abu Hazim Salma bin Dinar, he said, Every day the sun rises. Every day the sun rises. Satan launches a fresh attack on each individual. And he is more intense in this attack against the people that are on the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm only substantiating the type of iman that was demonstrated by Abu Ubaidah Amir bin Abdullah al Jarrah during the Battle of Badr, when he was faced to choose between the love he had for his father and to choose between that and the love he has for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, trust is iman, trust is countenance. And is believing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will always choose Allah over everything. 
he killed his father for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.